Good morning. Welcome to your 815 Daily Operations Weather Briefing. We have some warm and humid conditions out there. Already this morning, temperatures rising in the lower to mid-80s. We'll see temperatures warming into the mid-90s today. Heat indices will once again be dangerous in the hundreds, seeing uh, lower hundreds in anywhere from about 100, and 100 degrees to 110 degrees today. And then this weekend, we'll see heat indices approaching possibly up to 120 degrees in some locations for a short time period but uh, overall just make sure you are taking precautions if you're working out in the heat the next few days. Looking at our current surface analysis across the conus we see an area of high pressure off the southeast coast that's providing us with this very warm conditions to hot conditions across the region as well as the humid weather as the uh, southerly to southwest southwesterly return flow excuse me, across the region continues to pump the heat and humidity in the area. Not going to see much relief or change to this surface analysis through the weekend. Uh, by Monday we should see a cold front approaching that's currently across the Intermountain West as well as the uh, Northern Plains. Looking at our current conditions as of 8.15 this morning, we have a few clouds at 14,000 feet, a broken deck at 17,000 feet a broken deck at 25,000 feet, unrestricted visibilities. Winds have a westerly direction at 270 degrees, three knots, temperature 82 degrees, and relative humidity at 85%. Looking at our satellite imagery this morning, you can see we have some mid-level cloud cover across the southern portion of the Mid-Atlantic region. We have some lower level cloud cover across New Jersey and eastern portions of Pennsylvania where they did see quite a good amount of rainfall yesterday allowing for that fog or low level cloud cover to develop across that region. Going to see uh, partly cloudy and mostly sunny skies today as this lower level, uh, this mid-level cloud cover I should say is going to move off the coast. We'll see some cumulus cloud development along the Route 13 corridor with the sea breeze boundaries developing for the afternoon and there's a slight possibility we see a pop-up shower or thunderstorm around the area for the afternoon hours along those sea breeze boundaries. Looking at our radar imagery as well as lightning across the eastern portion of the United States, not really too much going on. We have some showers and thunderstorms currently across the Gulf Stream that was associated with a disturbance that moved through our region last evening. We also have a decaying MCS currently across northern Michigan. It's going to continue to weaken as it moves across that area. Overall, we could see some scattered showers, thunderstorms along the Appalachian Mountains today, as well as a isolated shower, thunderstorm along sea breeze boundaries across the Mid-Atlantic and the Southeast states. Looking at our wharf model to give you an idea of how these sea breeze uh, boundaries may cause some showers or thunderstorms today, here's 11 o'clock this morning and moving it into 12 you can see it pops up some showers just along the coastline. There's a slight chance that this happens. This is one of the most bullish models or the model that's showing the most precipitation out of these showers uh, along the sea breeze boundary today. This is 1 o'clock and then 2 o'clock you can see they kind of peak around 2 o'clock today and then dissipate by about 4 or 5 o'clock this afternoon. Looking at our risk chart for today we'll have temperatures in the lower to mid 90s at 94 degrees for a high. Only a low of 81 degrees tonight will have red conditions for heat indices over 100 degrees or at 100 degrees from late this morning through the evening hours. And as I mentioned we could see heat indices as high as 110 degrees today. We'll see westerly winds this morning turn southwesterly and then southerly with a peak wind at south out of the south at 13 knots this afternoon. Tomorrow morning we'll just see a westerly wind at 4 to 8 knots, already up to 86 degrees by Saturday morning at 8 a.m. and that could allow us to see our heat indices by 8 a.m. near 100 degrees. Our 24 hour terminal forecast, we're going to see VFR conditions in the next 24 hours. If we do see that shower or thunderstorm in the region, we could be seeing those ceilings go down to around 2,000 feet. Only a 10% chance of thunderstorms from uh, noon till uh, 1600 local and we do have a, a chance I should mention that we have a broken deck around 3,000 feet afternoon today with the sea breeze boundary in the region. Our tides are normal 
and looking from Saturday through Sunday, Saturday will be mostly sunny and partly cloudy with a very slight chance of a pop-up shower or thunderstorm, very hot and humid. TNCs between 105 and 115 degrees. There is a slight chance we do see TNCs above 115 degrees on Saturday, a high of 98 degrees that would tie the record and it's not out of the question we see a record at 99 tomorrow. With those uh, hot and humid conditions, we can't rule out showers and thunderstorms popping along sea reed boundary for Saturday or Sunday. Saturday night, mostly clear to partly cloudy, uncomfortable, humid, and warm, a low of only 83 degrees, so very warm conditions for an overnight low of Saturday night. And then Sunday, we'll see partly cloudy, very hot conditions, humid, as well. Slight chance of showers and thunderstorms late. Heat in seas between 105 and 115 degrees. As I mentioned, we now the question we see here is heat in sea briefly near 120 degrees for Sunday afternoon. We'll see a high of 99 degrees. A yellow for precipitation and lightning uh, for Sunday evening especially. And uh, our record high on Sunday is at 100 degrees. That's not the question we see that either. Uh, with the temperatures forecasted just near those record highs. That's going to complete our 815 Daily Operations Weather Brief. We'll be back at 10 o'clock to look at the next seven days.